Municipal People's Committee Chairman receives Chinese Ambassador to Vietnam. Ensuring security for APEC 2017. Đà Nẵng continues to create open investment environment. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. Chairman of the City People's Committee, Huỳnh Đức Thơ, has just hosted a reception for the Chinese ambassador to Vietnam, Hong Siêu Yong. Chairman of the Municipal People's Committee, Huỳnh Đức Thơ, expressed his desire that the Chinese ambassador to Vietnam, Hong Siêu Yong, and the Chinese Consul General to Đà Nẵng, Si Hui, would continue creating more favorable conditions for the Chinese enterprises to seek investment opportunity in Da Nang. For his part, the Chinese ambassador expressed his sincere thanks for the respectful reception and necessary information of Chairman Huynh Đức Thơ. Mr. Hong Xiao Yong hopes that the Chinese Consulate General, which has just been inaugurated and put into operation in Da Nang, would contribute to strengthening the friendly relations between the two parties and states in general as well as with Da Nang in particular. The Da Nang People's Committee has to agree to temporarily use the Han River port as a car park for APEC from October the 20th to November the 16th. Accordingly, the city will dismantle and revoke some infrastructure items at the Han River port and hand over the whole site to the Management Board of Industrial and Civil Engineering Construction and Investment Projects. This unit will receive and temporarily use this site as a car parking area serving APEC 2017 event between October the 20th and November the 16th. The Municipal People's Committee assigned the Department of Transport to temporarily install the infrastructure items for mooring, picking up and dropping passengers at the former Somsu port area. It's just less than one month to the APEC Economic Leaders Week taking place in Da Nang. In these days, functional departments, including the city's public security department, have made preparatory plans for this unique event. Defining the task of ensuring absolute security and safety for the APEC Economic Leaders Week, the city's police force has prepared for the work of absolute security and safety. The city public security department has coordinated with other units and branches to implement the project of installation of security and traffic surveillance cameras in the whole city, at the same time coordinating with armed forces, civil guard, and street patrol for ready anti-crime measures, organizing defense and attacks of crime to ensure security and order. In addition, the city public security force has also deployed the survey, making plans to ensure absolute safety at Da Nang International Airport and the venues of official and sideline activities of APEC Economic Leaders Week. With robust and proactive simultaneous implementation approach of the entire political system from central to local, we expect to have an absolute safety network which is worthy of being a friend's whole city in the view of international friends. In response to the Da Nang Smile campaign from September until the end of 2017, the City Department of Industry and Trade has coordinated with the Municipal Department of Tourism in the work of propagating, training and improving communication skills, attitude and behavior of staff who are working at restaurants, catering establishments and tourism service providers in the locality. At the traditional markets, the focus has been paid on training the small traders in communicating with foreigners in many languages. Regarding the Han market, one of the favorite shopping destinations of domestic and foreign tourists, especially international visitors, the Market Management Board has promoted propagation, reminded small traders to implement civilized and friendly behaviors towards tourists, whereby forming good habits, polite and friendly behaviors among small traders, and leaving good impressions on visitors coming to the coastal city of Da Nang. Over the past time, Da Nang has launched many preferential policies and mechanisms to support enterprises and attract more investors. 
aiming at creating the most open investment environment for businesses. The city's consistent policy is to continue building a favorable investment environment. In particular, the city has issued many schemes to support enterprises to invest in IT, high technology, technology transfer, and most recently, high-tech agriculture. High technology is one of the areas receiving the most incentives from the city. Accordingly, investment projects in high-tech field will be exempted from land rental fees for 11 years since its operation. Land rental prices will also be kept stable for five years. In addition, newly established businesses in Da Nang High Tech Park will enjoy a tax exemption for four years since the date of having taxable income and get a 50% reduction in tax for the next nine years. With the orientation of rolling out the red carpet for investors towards the selective way, so far Da Nang has more than 22,000 enterprises, including 525 FDI projects, with a total investment of nearly 3 billion USD. With its existing strength, along with the new development strategy and the aspirations to strongly grow, Da Nang will continue to be an ideal and attractive destination in the eyes of investors. October the 14th is the founding day of the Vietnam Farmers Association. In the exciting spirit of the farmers' movements throughout the country, in recent years, the Da Nang Farmers Association has well promoted its connection role between the city and farmers and effectively carried out many outside tasks, including organizing and developing the city's farmers' assistance fund. Over the past time, the Farmers Assistance Fund of Da Nang has mobilized capital from many sources, including the budget of the Central Association, the city budget, as well as coordinated with the Social Policy Bank and the Vietnam Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development to launch credit policies for agricultural development and give financial support to farmers in equipment to help them develop their production. Since the beginning of 2017, the operation capital source of the city's Farmers Assistance Fund is at more than $36 billion, of which the new entrusted capital is $5.4 billion. In the first nine months of this year, the fund implemented disbursement for 33 projects of uh, loans for 304 households with over $8 billion. Thanks to its capital shots, local farmers have built many new economic models while many households expanded their production and business. This fund has helped create job opportunities and made a significant change in the farmers' movement in the city. On October the 14th morning, the Da Nang Traditional Medicine Clinic organized the 2017 Science Conference Situation and Solutions for Conservation and Development of Medicinal Plants in Da Nang, with the participation of doctors, pharmacists, scientists and researchers in the field of traditional medicine and pharmacy. So far, investigations and researches have found and recorded more than 1,100 species that can be used as medicinal plants, of which 50 species are considered relatively unique and should be prioritized for conservation in Vietnam. This workshop is an opportunity for managers, scientists and traditional physicians to share valuable experiences in preserving and developing medicinal plants in the city and in the central region. Together, they will come up with the most effective measures to fully maximize the advantages and potentials of these medicinal plants in the medical examination, treatment and care of people's health. The Da Nang Portal, in collaboration with Hue University of Sciences, has organized an advanced skills training course for journalists in 2017. Taking part in the course, trainees were introduced to the knowledge related to various types of newspapers, especially online newspapers, along with the skills to handle topics and collect information. The knowledge gained from this training course along with their expertise will help the trainees better meet the information needs of people. 
The training courses for journalists have been regularly jointly organized by the Da Nang Portal and the Huế University Sciences with the aim of improving the basic skills for journalists in fulfilling their duties, management activity, and sending many news and articles to the website of the units and the Da Nang Portal. That's the end of today's news. Please log on to drt.danang.vn for more news and updates. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.